circle, it's basically it's a chartreuse cascade. Now, normally I would tie the cascade or the chartreuse version using a chartreuse floss, much like this. Now, there's some new holographics out, and I'm going to tie one with the chartreuse and the, the holographic. There we go, if you get the right side, which you can buy now. You can get it in other colours now. I would be tempted to use the darker one as well, certainly. That's the olive, the olive one. There's an orange and then there's a copper, which just come available. The other thing I would like to see, I would like to see it in a thicker, this is a medium sized tinsel. For some of the bigger flies I would like to see it in the heavier one, or our equivalent would be the large. Now, who I'm using is a Salar size 7, and silver obviously. Now I'm going to lay down a th some thread, halfway down the shank, and break this off. And then, just to keep with the colour theme, I'm going to use a UTC wire, this is a small and chartreuse again. I catch that full length of the body and then get my chartreuse holographic tinsel. Again, it's going to catch that the full length. This here, leaving this, this will balance itself up when you come up later on. Now we run the thread right down till slightly by the point of the hook and then Basically come up like a tag length, like maybe around about 3mm or so. Now the two colours, a bucktail for the tail, I'm always going to use a chartreuse and a nice hot orange. Really nice and clean and hot. Now I've already sat down here and mixed a couple colours together, the chartreuse and the orange. Now just all you have to do is line them up. Don't overdo it with the, with the fibres. The one overdress the fly. Now the length I like normally round about twice the length of the hook, so there's one, two, and that's over the back. And as I say, tie up that tag length. So you tie it one there. It's a couple of turns just to hold it. The reason I like doing the tag like that at the back, it stops the tail going round the bend of the hook. And then cut it the full length of the body, which is that point there. For the flash, I've got this is a fine crystal flash and chartreuse again. I tie that with at least three three strands anyway, don't go much more than that. Just actually just lay them on the top. You could mix them up if you want. On the top's good. Now all I'm doing is continually when I'm tying something in, I'm I'm always going up the way. Now remove the excess. Now keep this for your wing. That gets mixed into your the wing which is going to be some Russian squirrel dyed black. Now you could best to tidy up. Now I like to taper towards the eye so that I can get the wing low. And if you cut these at a slight angle like that, you'll find it will taper. Just take the thread up nice and tight. And then bring it back down. Now halfway ready to catch in your tinsel. Now all I do is lift up your tent up here, up your, your buck tail, bring two or three turns at the back with the holographic. As I said I used to do that, well I still do it with floss, two or three turns, and then continue up. Just keep going to that point there, and then two or three turns to secure. Again I'll cut this a full into the second part of the body which is going to be black floss. This is just a basic rayon black floss. Again, full into the second part of the body so it balances up and then take a thread up. Open out the floss with your finger and thumb, just pull it through it, just slightly flattens it and then continue. Now the other rear tie this fly is to use fire orange thread for the head, which again gives it another colour change. I like a sort of ready orange head. It's proven to catch a lot of fish for me over the years, so it's certainly worth having. Now, what I do is lift the tail up. Now, with the chartreuse wire rib, you want at least a couple of turns at the back, which will protect it. Then come up, rubbing the rest of the fly, 
and continue all the way up this point here, bring it up, bring the thread with it nice 90 degree bend into the wire it basically makes it really tight keeps the, the turns that you formed in the body really tight if you do that and then bend and break away the wire as I say, for the wing you're looking for a Russian squirrel in this case dyed black just bring it out from the skin slightly and you'll see the tips lining up I take away the fluff any excess or broken fibres, remove them. Now I'm looking to at least put the wing, say like if you were tying a standard hair wing fly, the wing would be about there, and your tail, standard tail would be about there, so you want it much the same length. So tie that on the top, two or three third turns to secure it, and then come in and take away the excess. Now it's important that you tie this down, make sure this is tied in. And get your flash again. You want the three strands or so. Now what I do is full length of the wing, two or three turns on top, and then fold back, keeping hold of the longer ends, and then trim them away. Then come in with your thumb and just basically on your finger, lower the wing slightly. Now for the two hackles, keeping the theme of the colour, I've got a nice chartreuse and a nice hot orange. Same colour as the tail. Then we tie these in by the tip, bring both hackles together, just offer them in, pull. We did four or five turns down and fold the tip back. Then we can break these off. And then, as you see, I've left the fluff on the hackles. Helps you to hold them. And then, like, I like to fold a hackle on on the hook, on the vice, rather than on the cape but it's up to yourself as long as you get them nice and neat and as you wind, do one turn in front of the other until you get enough turns watch the hooks, and they do jaggy now come in with your thread now I'm going to put a good three or four turns in and now there's plenty of room there, I can actually fold these back secure in these hackles. Now you don't have to do this, but this will make your fly last much longer. Just forget they're there just now. Keeping the thread tight, always tight. Tidy up, form your nice head, and then come straight in with that finish. You can remove these one at a time, always keeping the thread tight. This one doesn't want to break, there you go. And just say now remove thread. And there you go, and that's now the holographic, it's a lovely colour, really nice. As I said, I would try the darker, the olive, as well, and maybe use the lime green to give you a slight variant. But I would say certainly this fly is worth a go. And then, a couple of coats of varnish, the job should be done. And that there. The slight variant of the stand or the cascade but with the new chartreuse holographic tinsel. There you go. You spread these fibres. And that's your chartreuse cascade. Mm.